teleporting to different locations on the map is not overly complicated and I'm going to show you how to do it by use of a mob or more specifically talking to a mob in game. Now we're going to have a look at teleporting through Z axes and also to different locations on the same Z axes and it's not very complicated so if you just follow along you'll be able to pick this up pretty quickly. Now first off we need to create a mob and it's dead easy I'm going to actually go into this in more detail in chapter 6 when we look at creating NPCs but as for now we're just going to create a basic mob. So we're going to go mob, um, no we're not, we've already got mob, so we're, we're indented, we're going to give the mob a name, I'm going to call it tell for teleport, then we're going to have a verb, and I don't have to worry about an icon because the icon's already set to mobs and the icon state's already set to male, so anything I, I now create will automatically inherit those features. So this verb I'm going to call move it, something like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the command set src in ovu1. Now what does that do? Well it checks that src, which is the current mob, which will be tell, is in within ovu1 of the user. Okay, so set src in ovu1. So very basically when I am in, when, when I or you, the user, are within one tile of this mob, then the verb will become available. Okay. What do you want to do? We're going to change the location of user. User.location equals, and then we use the command locate. And you enter three coordinates, x, y, and z. Now, if I compile that, yep, that works fine. So now I'm going to add the mob tell onto the map. I'll add him just there. Now, if I run, now if I talk to him here, you'll see, what, nothing happened? That's because I'm already at location 1-1 one, one on the map. However, if I'm at this side, and then I talk to him, oh, I go to the other side. Okay, so that's, we're actually teleporting. Let's make sure we teleport a bit more. Um, we'll change the locations where we're teleporting to. Um, let's have a look. Mobs. Let's change it to 10. Compile and run. Now if I click on talk, boom, I've moved over here, and I'm in the water, which was a bad mistake. So let's change it to 8. Compile and run. Command, move it. There we go, I was safe there. Um, we could, if we wanted, make it so that we actually change it to the location of SRC, just by going user.lock equals src.lock. And then if we compile and run that, and I talk to him, I'll actually move on to top of him and if it was a bigger distance I'd move directly on top of him. So that's how you can really do um, teleporting. Now different Z axes is dead easy, all you do is you, you use the locate and then you change the last variable which is a Z axis to a different data, this t is a second Z axis. So I'm talking to two and I'm on the second Z axis and it's as simple as that. So that's really how easy it is to teleport between different Z axes and different locations on a map and there's nothing really more to 